Now let's summarize for the next few minutes and in doing so, run through some different conditions of stability, starting with a stable ship of course, and working up to a ship that's in neutral equilibrium, and then proceeding on to a ship that is actually unstable. But you might notice down here on this diagram now, we've introduced a new number and a new dot. We call this K in our diagrams, we're going to refer to it as K, but it actually indicates the position of the baseline. Do you remember the baseline from earlier on in the video? The baseline is a line that is drawn from the deepest part of your draft, the deepest part of the keel, wherever that may be, and extending horizontal to the waterline. So the baseline is actually here. If I take a cross section through the middle of the vessel, represented by this transverse section here, we can see that K actually is a little bit lower than the actual physical keel itself. K is actually representative of the baseline, and it's a very important datum point for measurements. In Master 24, and above at your level, you'll be able to actually calculate, quite simply, the position of your center of gravity of your ship, the transverse or the vertical position of center of gravity. And it's going to be somewhere, hopefully, below M and above B for a conventional uh, vessel. So, let's start with a stable vessel. A stable vessel is one that has G here. And as a previous student of mine once said, came up with uh, a little bit of a learning aid, said, my good boat, working from top to bottom, ignoring K, of course. I thought that was pretty good. My good boat. The position of G in this one would indicate that the vessel is quite stiff. Let's load the vessel a little bit more. Pack all your mates on the tinny, throw a few whiskies in, fishing gear and all the rest. You might be thinking, gee, the ship feels a bit unstable feels a bit like a bucket. Well, if you're not wet, if you're not treading water and the ship isn't upside down, it's probably still stable. But as you now know, she's probably just tender, handling a bit like a bucket. So G in that instance may well be up there, but technically the ship is stable. My good boat. Continuing upwards though, let's get that late arrival on board, complete with esky more fishing gear. You may reach a point where the centre of gravity is actually in the same spot as the meta centre of the vessel. Now, probably the, this is called neutral equilibrium. Neutral equilibrium. It's neutral because a GZ lever can't occur when these two are on the same spot. Perhaps imagine a basketball. Put a basketball in the pool, rotate the ball, take your hands off it, what's going to happen? It's just going to remain there, isn't it? Move it a bit more, move it somewhere else, rotate it, take your hands off, it still stays put. No riding lever, neutral equilibrium. Now, in a glass out, you could probably sail along a fair old distance without knowing that you're in this condition. But just imagine you're burning fuel. You are discharging weight from down low by burning fuel using water, uh, less liquid in the tanks down low. In that case, and I'm going to exaggerate it here just to make it a bit clearer on the board, it's not my good boat anymore. It is, as that student also came up with, which I thought was pretty good, grab my bag. Let's get out of here. Grab my bag. G is above M. The ship has gone from stability to neutral equilibrium and now to instability. This ship, when inclined, will not have a GZ, it'll have a ZG. It's a negative riding lever. In fact, it's a capsizing lever, and we'll draw that in a moment. 